welcome back. I'm Glenn. I'm Michael. This is Legally Speaking, and we are still remote. Remote version five, six, I, I don't know. know. We've had quite a few of them. Yep. But we're, uh, we're plugging along. We were talking before we got on this morning. We're going we're gonna to do a little shameless plug here for ourselves. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about today why why we like working in a little bit smaller city, a little bit more rural area, and some of the reasons for that. You know, I, I know that we're both from Lincoln. We lived in Lincoln, grew up in Lincoln, so this is our home. But uh, maybe just to give some other people an idea of why we decided to live here and some of the reasoning behind that. Uh, what about you? Why did you decide to come back? Well, I, I thought, you know, your firm was pretty appealing to me. It was, you know, local. It has the relationships with local individuals. And, you know, where I was at in Springfield, it was a little bit bigger firm and, you know, a lot bigger community. And it's a lot easier to have those community ties whenever you're working somewhere where the community is smaller and you are uh, you know, either the firm's recognized or your name's recognized, your family's recognized. And, you know, I think it, it goes a long way to build those types of relationships and, and treat people more of uh, uh, not only as clients, but, you know, as as our friends and, and lead us to being involved in the community. And I know you're involved. You're on the school board. Any other boards you're on? A lot of them. Once they find out that you... Uh willing to serve they, they'll start asking you there's no shortage of opportunities for that i mean i serve on the school board i serve on some committees for the local hospital i serve on uh community action board done some of those for a while you know i've been on elks boards and a lot of a lot of boards a lot of board meetings things like that to get involved with the community and you know some of that's good good service to give back give up your time and and it. I mean, there's a, there's a definite shortage, I know, of attorneys, certainly in rural communities. I read an article that said that 90% of the attorneys in the state of Illinois were in Chicago. And I wow. know that um, Chicago is a big city, and Chicago pretty much sways all the elections in the state, but there's a whole lot, <laughs> there's a whole lot of other counties in the state of Illinois, I guarantee you that, and the whole a lot that need uh, legal representation and you know they need different legal representation than what Chicago has to offer there's a there's a different mentality up there I know that to be true yeah and I I mean I think that goes along with uh, another reason why the rural community the the smaller community the smaller firm works well for us is you know the cost of living here in central Illinois is about as low as you're going to get in the Midwest so you know we we discussed, you know, our our commutes to work to our office. I, I'm less than five minutes away. I think you are too. You know, that's almost impossible. Even living in, you know, a, a city the size of Springfield, you're looking at, you know, a 15 to 20 minute commute if you're going from one side of the town to the other. Um, and your your expenses. I mean, our property taxes are are much lower here. Um, you know, even you know, gas prices, a gallon of milk, it's all much lower here in Lincoln, Illinois than it is in those bigger cities, especially Chicago. So, I mean, I think that's very beneficial for us. And, you know, at the same time, it's it's not a situation where, you know, fresh out of law school, somebody starts working for a firm in central Illinois, they're not going to make a six-figure salary. They may do that in Chicago, but like I said, that's going to come with an increased cost of living as well. You know, your your monthly rent might not be a thousand dollars; it might be three or four thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah. I think I've always said that if I were to live the lifestyle I live now in a city like Chicago, I would need to increase my yearly wages by about three times to do yep. it. I don't think I could do the things I do. You know, like golf memberships and cost of living and things things like that that you mentioned are just way way higher there and uh you know you can go play golf in three hours i know that the golfers up in chicago like to take five six hours for a round but that's that's not, not my style that's not, not the way i like to play golf 
Um, my commute is pretty short. Occasionally I'll hit a train there on Clinton Street and it'll take me five to seven minutes instead of three to four, but you no, know, it's not too bad. Even if I forget something and have to go back and forth. Like I go home for lunch every day, you know, we'll get to see my family a little bit more than normal. I know you go home for lunch too, and it's a pretty nice thing to be able to do. Yeah, especially now with uh you know, a new family member at home, being able to go home and check on them and hang out for a little bit. I mean, that's nice. That's not something to do, you know, working for a larger firm or working in a bigger city just because that that commute time. I mean, we're in a position here, you know, we do have the other office in Delvin, which is about a 30 minute drive. But again, that that's something that we work into our schedule and that that's planned. It's not something that we have to do every day. Um, but it's not a huge inconvenience either. So, you know, I think where we're situated here, we have room for, you know, there, there's definitely growth that can be had within our firm and, and outside into smaller areas. I mean, I know there's a lot of rural communities to the west and east of Logan County that are, I think, underserved right now. And I think that's where we get into the north northwest area of Delavan, uh, I think we're discovering that, that that area, again, there's there's a lack of attorneys. Um, and, you know, those people would have to go to Pekin or Peoria or, or, you know, people in the southern part of Logan County may have to go to, to Springfield. But, you know, whenever you look over west to Petersburg or you go east over Mount Pulaski, Latham area, you know, there's not a lot of uh, professional services in the form of of attorneys and I think that's where you know we have an opportunity to grow and expand um, and I know we've been looking to hire somebody for a little while now and and I think that you know eventually whenever we get there the concern that a lot of people have is well right out of law school what what's my salary going to be and you know I think that you really it took me a little while to realize that it's not something that you're immediately entitled to you have to work and you have to put in the time and the years and eventually you know maybe working at a smaller firm you're going to have a higher ceiling than you would working for the big city firm in chicago but i mean that's that's just my personal experience with it what about you yeah i agree i mean i think that the work is certainly there i mean it's available there's a lot of room for growth. There's a lot of room for uh, additional business. You know, I turn away business quite a bit just because I think we're pretty much at capacity. I mean, we're uh, working a lot. We're not working anywhere near what we'd be working if we worked for a big firm in Chicago or, you know, one of the bigger cities. We'd be working 100 plus hour weeks and we don't do that. I mean, we don't work. I don't work typically 40. I usually work a little more than that, but it's more of a uh, quality of life issue. I think like you talked about, it's sometimes, you know, you're sending some emails and things like that at home once in a while or you know, working a couple hours on the weekend to catch up, but it's not a 12, 15, 20 hour day most of the time. You know what I mean? It's uh I, I never worked at a big firm, but it's something I experienced in law school. You know, I had that 30 minute commute. I had the uh, long days. You know, you go home, you're pretty much at home to sleep and eat. You go back and do it again. And I did that for two and a half years in law school. And that was, it was miserable. <laughs> I mean, there's no way around it. It was awful. And then once you get through finals and you'd have like those two weeks off to just kind of catch back up in life i mean there's a long periods of time in there where you didn't clean your car you didn't do the things that you needed to get done on a day-to-day -day basis and it all kind of just built up and it was pretty awful you know i think but i wasn't a big fan of law school anyway that's a subject for another day <laughs> sure i mean i think that the that one of the big selling points in smaller towns in our city and our state is a feeling of safety and security. I mean, it's been a crazy year. It's been a crazy time for everyone. But I can say with 
relative certainty that I've never felt unsafe living here this year. I can't say that when I go to other places, but I don't know about you, but I have not felt unsafe. No, I, I think it's definitely the a different mindset here. You know, you uh, any anytime there's more population, there's more crime. I mean, it's just the nature of it, numbers. And, you know, where we're at and again, central Illinois area, our crime rates are relatively low. And and again, I think that's that's something that's beneficial. Again, if you're wanting to have that quality of life and and make sure you're if you're devoted to you know, raising a family or, or being part of that community, you don't want something catastrophic to happen to your family or your community. And I think that's, you know, a, a pretty low risk where we're located. I agree. Well, I think that's uh, it's a pretty good shameless plug for today. If anybody is interested or knows anyone that's interested in coming and maybe working for us as an attorney, there's some information that we put on our Facebook page recently about uh, the opportunity. So we'd be willing to talk and uh, happy to listen. Other than that, I don't know, it's Masters Week. Yeah, finally back uh, back again to some normalcy. Got a Big Ten football back and I don't know if they're going to be able to finish their year or not. Yeah, for now. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Who do you like for the Masters? Uh, I've been liking Tony Finau. I think he's due to win a major. All right. I don't know. If DeChambeau can hit it straight, he's going to be tough to beat. Yeah, he's he's been tough this year. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thanks. See you.